You still can't see his big head. No. All right, just lay down. All right. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Camber and Bobby. Now, this one isn't quite after dark, but uh, we're kind of treating it as it. Because we're going to do a Q&A with all your questions. Yay! And I do have the results of the what is the best truck to buy. And actually, from what you guys have told me, it's the, the Ram 1500 is, or Ram in general, is the best one. With uh, Ford being next. And if you add GMC and Chevy together, then they're just as much as Ford, uh, but individually, not not near Ford and what Ram was. So, thank you for your suggestions. Uh, and uh, yeah, so when I'm ready to get a truck, I I guess I gotta look at Ram or Fords apparently. So, mm -hmm. Bailey's just cuddling over here. You can see his nose. <laughs> Hi guys, hey, I'm super comfortable sitting here on Mama's lap here. Oh, yeah. Pet me. Like, I'll Pet watch me. myself later on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just see this big nose. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's find those questions. Um. All right. That's Bailey's tail banging. He's yes. wagging it. Because I stopped petting him. Okay, I'll pet you again. Uh, the, this comment says, the birds are getting big. Will they eventually be food? My mom and I love quail. We live in Texas, so we, we'd we actually be across the border to get the best, unless my dad hunts them. So the way our cage is set up right now, so the new cage, um, all those guys in there, that's just for... Egg production. Egg production. And reproducing. And reproducing more eggs so we can have more babies. So we're not eating them. Those ones are like the cream of the crop. Yeah. That's what's in there right now. But so when we do hatch them, because we hatch them, I don't just buy birds. Um, there is a male to female ratio. And this is what most birds are. Ducks are the same way. Chickens, if you have chickens, you only want so many boys to girl ratio. Otherwise, they can fight and kill each other. Um, so, have we butchered birds? Yes. Um, when we have too many boys or if they're genetically... So, there's something called rye neck where the birds' necks are just are all like weird. They're like weird like this. Yeah. Um, so to keep the health of our birds. And right, you, don't, you don't want to reproduce more of that. No. Genetically, no. Um, in those situations, yes. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. But we know what our birds are fed. We know they're not pumped with any hormones, hormones or, or antibiotics. Or they're the healthiest thing we could feed our family. Well, and that's what we want. And Bjorn was even asking for him. He's like, when are we having some quail again? Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like it's a really good thing to teach the kids that to have respect for their food. Like, you don't just go to the grocery store and buy a chicken and that's how they come. Like, no. they used to be something more than that. Um, and it teaches them a lot more respect for food instead of just... Yeah. They're not wasting it. They're man. not grown in a lab or something. Yeah. <laughs> they're 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 grown from an egg and they get bigger and become feathery. Mm -hmm. And when we get some more land, I plan on raising meat birds and um, things like that so we have a source some of meat chickens. Yeah. So you can get but the birds we have meat. meat, those are we use for egg production. Um, we do have a new hatch coming. No, we got it. It's in the incubator. They should hatch Thursday or Friday. So we're we're trying to get ready for a bunch of new babies. Mm -hmm. 
Like how many is in there? Oh, there's like 68 eggs in there. Right. Doesn't mean all 68 will hatch. So even if we go with 50%, we should have 30 new birds. Yeah. You want to come out here? Freya's coming. Crap, Freya found us. So this is why we usually shoot these after dark, because then there's no kids. You gonna come here? No. Okay, you can come here. There you go. All right, so Freya, are you gonna answer the questions? Do you like, do you like when we have quail for dinner? Mommy, I can't be. No. All right, next question. Um, oh, this is, did you get to keep any of your stones? No, and the one, the, really, I wouldn't want any of this, the gallbladder stones, except for the one that was the size of a quarter. I, I, I at least would have liked to have seen it. Yeah, thank you. Maybe keep it. Yeah. But no, they didn't, they didn't give me any of them. Thank you, Bobby. No. Thank you. You didn't need them anyway. Where, okay. what is Throwing it in a drawer somewhere? That's just gross. Could have used it for an art project of some sort. Or just to show people. Eventually, it probably would have got thrown out. That's trouble. Yeah. I said I had a hard time seeing some of these. <laughs> uh, this is for the duck owner. Would you ever consider using a copper rod? Or two in the bottom of the kiddie pool. I have heard that about using copper to help kill algae. It's something we need to look into more. Yeah, it would be good for the algae. Uh, but the other thing birds, ducks are just messy. They poop in their water. Yeah. So yeah. copper's not gonna fix that. That's why it's, no matter what, it has to be cleaned. Regularly. Regularly. like multiple times a week if not yeah like every day we just change their water and then the ducks are standing in there and they just go and let some turds out and you're like yeah it's clean why'd you do that get out of the pool yeah yeah freya do you poop in the pool yeah poop poop <laughs> you're not supposed to poop in the pool <laughs> oh do you have a safety alarm in your pool? Do, or for, for Freya? I no. said pool. No, we don't, have, we don't have a safety alarm, but like you can completely lock the pool area. Yeah. Um, but there's no like alarm or anything for it. Uh, besides if you open, because we have Simply Safe, so if you open any of our doors from the house, you can hear it inside the house because it goes doot, 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 whatever. To let you know, hey, something's opened. Usually it's a door, not a window. We also can't unlock our doors. Yeah, so uh, that was one thing that I did. We did it at our old house and everything. Uh, you have your normal lock position, but then we always have an additional lock up high. So if it's a little littles. girl or littles can't just open the doors. Um, and then like our slider, it, that thing's heavy. The boys can sometimes yeah. barely open it. So, yeah. Well, and that lock's hard to... Yeah. It's, it's The she, lock is just cracked. There's apart. no way she could push that yeah. down and unlock it. No, yeah, she can't. So, and she is aware, based on her height now, that if she falls in the pool, she knows how to get to the side. She knows she can touch the bottom in the, the shallow end. So all she has to do is just be like, Stand up. Yeah. And yeah. stuff that we taught her, knowing that we had a pool, oh, we wanted to make sure she knew, hey, if something bad happens, this is what you do. So anybody that has a pool, that's what you should be doing with your kids is show them, hey, you can touch the bottom here and then over here you can't, so don't jump. And if you do come in there, you need to get to the side and hold yourself on the side and scream so then somebody can come and pull you out um, if you couldn't get out yourself. Well, and we don't use floaties. We don't use floaties either. So no, she doesn't, like she's never wanted to just jump in the pool. No, it's a, 
if you look it up, floaties are actually detrimental to one, teaching kids how to swim, but also giving them a false sense of security. Yeah. So we don't use we don't use floaties. The only time she is ever in a floaty is if we are at someone else's house. Because she doesn't know their pool. Yeah. I saw you. All right. So, yeah, no safety alarm, but there are safety things in place. She cannot get into the pool area unless we allow her into the pool area. Correct. Um, let's see. Those hairs are getting long. You're tickling my nose. They go no wash you. Oh, this is just uh, Kay saying she's coming down. Uh, to the Ormond touch my away. beach area um, early September and planning going to mom's coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah, so we got somebody moving down here. Kay. Kay Howell moving down to Florida. I don't know if she's Welcome. moving or just or visiting. Down here. Something like that. Yeah. Because okay. she wants us to do the meet and greet. I, yeah. That's why. <laughs> We're still trying to figure that out. Should we do a meet and greet? Comment below. Should we do a meet and greet? It would be at Sweet Marley's Coffee in Daytona Beach, which is her mom's coffee shop. Yeah. Go there. Yeah. I think I got a Uh, This one asks, can we have wine on carnivore diet? No. No, because wine is made from Can we make wine fruit. out of meat? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fermented meat. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Oh, nasty. <laughs> no, wine's made from fruit. You can't have fruit on carnivore, so therefore you can't have wine. Um. However, we've been doing carnivore long enough that oh, one. Bobby had beef the other day, and no flare up. Correct. Yeah. So it was my gallbladder that was definitely causing it. Yeah. Or we were my... on carnivore long enough to heal your gut. And I've been taking a lot of pre and uh, probiotics to rebuild my immune system after doing the antibiotics. Um, so maybe it could be a combination of things. Yeah. Yeah, I've had beef. And then we had a little cheats last night. I had some milk chocolate. So, and that, was, that would cause me a flare up. So I had beef and milk chocolate all in the same day and no flare up. So yeah. definitely. I mean, it could be a lot of things, but I, I'm going to blame it on the gallbladder. So having that removed seemed to, to really work. But because of that, we are planning on, I still want to be mostly carnivore, but Sundays are a get together with family and it's been really... It turns into ketovore. Yeah. And I want us to have a little bit more freedom of not worrying on Sundays. We're well, allowed to have cheat days here and there. Yeah. So that's kind of our thought is Sundays might be our day. Um, so like today is our day to host and we're celebrating Freya. Freya, look at the camera. <laughs> you gotta be quiet. Um, celebrating her birthday. So she had her birthday a couple weeks ago, but with actual family and stuff today, um, I'm not going to not enjoy her birthday with her because i think that's yeah. wrong to be like oh we can't have cake because we're on a diet like how old are you, uh, okay. how old are you freya uh, three Me. you show them say you're three Me. <laughs> yeah like this no, no, yeah no. that's five <laughs> like this three go three, three. Me. but you have to hold it up no, no, now you're three. four she can do it. She just can hold it, get low, whatever. That's two. <laughs> Me. Okay, but needless to say, no, you can't have wine on carnivore, but we're being less strict Mommy. where we're allowing ourselves some cheat days. Correct. Do you have a time limit on baby number four? Yes and no. Yes. In a way of, I I wouldn't, if Freya's 10 years old, I'm not trying for baby number four. No, because then that means I'm going to be really freaking old. Yeah. Um, 
but I don't, we don't have anything like, a year ago, my time limit was this time this year, was my thought, but now it's like, well, I don't know. Yeah, so, she's three. Mm -hmm. So she'd be four, it, almost, at least. We pretty much got like a year. That's yeah. that's kind of what it is. is that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to go past another year. Because, yeah, because then by the time the it, child graduates high school, I'm going to be like 60. Yeah. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, there is a time limit. I just we don't know exactly what that time limit is. It's probably another year. Cause I also don't want that huge age difference and Yeah. So that means I gotta go get snipped probably. Yeah. Cause I'm not having an unnecessary surgery. So <laughs> if I have the baby, I would get um, the work done, like my tubes tied or whatever, because they're already in there and yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. Fred knows. But if I don't have another baby, you're definitely getting snipped. Because I'm not going in and letting them cut me again. Aww. Bailey snipped. Aww. Bailey, say, suck it up, Dad. I did it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Drake still it. has his balls. I did it, Bobby. <laughs> oh. This question says, with all Bobby's health issues, why do you want more kids? You have your hands full now. I know I am a handful. <laughs> um, because? I don't know. I, I think that's kind of... Because we had so much fun with her. She's actually a healthy baby. All our other ones, we had like the beginning of, with all the health too. issues and stuff. And we're like, oh man, I don't know if we're going to have another one. And then you have her and you're like, well, oh, maybe another one. Because we figured it out. Well, and I'm not quite sure what she means by health issues. Like you had your flare ups and stuff, but I don't know how that affects kids. Well, I, I, it could be because, you know, like we had to destroy my immune system a bit and probably not the best thing to be trying and having babies when you're trying to rebuild. Yeah. yeah. But now, uh, I think we got this whole indigestion issue figured out. So check that off. Yeah. My immune system's been rebuilt. Check that off. No, no, um, no, don't have H priority no. anymore. So good there. So now the only thing wrong with me is probably your back. My 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 physical, my back, my knees, my mental health is definitely better right now. So really now is actually the better time to do it because like everything's kind of coming into place. Now I still am healing. My my tummy's still healing from the gallbladder surgery, but once it's healed, I should be actually really good shape considering what I've been in. Well, and if it has anything to do with mental health, you flat out said one of the things you enjoy about life is our family. Oh, yeah. So it's a Freya's, positive thing to mental health. Freya is great. <laughs> she's, she's actually what makes me feel good every day. Because she comes in our room in the morning when I wake up, and I'm like, ah. She's in a really a cute positive, phase right now. A positive thing to wake up to yeah she's always up way before i am so i don't wake up to her I wake <laughs> up to freya yeah yeah second freya hears him rustling around she's like oh, daddy and she goes running <laughs> yeah so having having more kids is not a bad thing it's either i have more kids or we have more animals because that's what i do when i need a mental health bring up and she's being a butt I'll go outside and watch the ducks because watching the ducks just do their thing, can ju it just makes okay. you feel better. You see them just waddling around, eating, so drinking, sweet. shitting. It's funny. Yes. 
they we, they do they let them rip, and it's very vocal. Oh, Alice wants to know any updates on your car. All right, so it's been so hot, and I've been just trying to catch up on just doing these videos. That's why they they're not like why I don't know. Dumb? But anyways, um, it's been so hot. No, I haven't worked on the car. I've been just trying to get stuff done. We've been doing stuff around the house, little yeah. projects here and there, and it's just too humid. Yeah. So as we go into like more fall here, that's when I can start really working on the car again. Fall, winter, spring, that's the better time to work on the car, especially if I'm welding, because then I got to put all that you. protective okay. gear on. And you don't want to do that when your heat index is 105. No. So, yeah. I go me too. Um, this is asking if we've ever seen the Dr. Kilts videos. There's another carnivore doctor on YouTube. I have not seen Dr. Kilts. Um, I don't think so. Sometimes I've watched these and I have seen them, but I haven't. Okay, I recognize his face, but I don't think I've actually ever seen. He's someone that I might have seen pop up on TikTok. Daddy, what I've seen him. You've seen him? Yeah. Yeah, on Instagram, I've seen him. Yeah. Yeah, I think I follow him on Instagram. That's probably why I see him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, um, Kara's asking about homeowners insurance and the solar panels. All right, so before you even go and look at solar panels, talk to your insurance. Talk to your insurance. Be like, hey, are you still going to insure us <laughs> if I get solar panels? Oh, no. Now, ours, I called our insurance and I'm like, hey, oh, we're getting solar panels installed. They're like, okay, how many? Like 44. And they're like, okay. We need to update your file to show that you have, will have 44 solar panels on your roof because that actually changes the value of your home too because now you have this on there so they have to adjust you know like if your whole house burns down what is it going to cost to replace, solar. replace everything yeah so yeah they they want to know the exact amount of panels you're going to have so if you um first call them ask them Hey, can I have solar? And they're like, yeah, absolutely. Then they're going to want to know how many panels you're going to get after you do the the, the review with the engineer. Um, so when you get to that step, they're going to be like, hey, we're putting on all these panels and this is where we're putting them. So then you'd call your insurance company and be like, hey, I'm getting this many panels. And then they update. Um, we have USAA. They don't care. And actually I was able, I didn't know this, until after I called them, but I could go on my app and just type in, hey, we got 44 solar panels, update file, and that's it. Then they adjust values based on what I type in. So, yes, you gotta, you gotta consult Always double check. before. And after. And after. I would consult multiple times just to make sure. Cause yeah, some places are weird. Stop moving. I'll say, where are you going now? Okay. All right. All right, go play. No. What do you want? A yeah, I can give you a tablet back. Yay. <sighs> you want to go play with your brothers? No, can you buy All right, go find Xander and Bjorn. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Um, asking about getting a Murphy bed in the extra room. Um, I've looked into Murphy beds. I just, that room is very small. Like, very, very small. Um. So you only have two walls you can put it on. Yeah. And realistically. Really, you only have one wall. You have only one wall. You when don't, you think about it. And it's just not a good spot for a Murphy bed. No. So, that's why we've talked about getting the pull out um sofas however i have found i don't know if they're still considered murphy beds i know on wayfair they call them still murphy beds where 
it's like a piece of furniture, like a, it almost looks like a dresser that pulls out to a Murphy bed or to a bed. I don't know. I looked at those because that seemed kind of interesting. Okay. You're like, what are you talking about? Um, but I think those like what you think of with Murphy beds of coming on the wall and stuff. Yeah, like a full like built in. Yeah, I don't think like, we have uh, a good spot I think it for would, that. It would look weird because it would be in the middle of the room and there'd be so much wall on each side that I, I don't think it would work with uh -huh. the traditional Murphy bed style. Like if it was on a smaller wall, sure. But unfortunately we have the smaller wall has a window. The other small side of the wall has a closet. And then the other big wall is in the walking path because you come in through the door. So there's really only one wall and it's like in the middle. It, eh, All right, so this is the other things that I've seen. Oh, that would work. Yeah. so Because it, it looks like a piece of furniture. All right, I'm going to screenshot this real quick just so you guys can see it also <laughs> when I'm showing him on my phone. Yeah, um, that would work, sure. Yeah, so that's I mean, stuff I've looked at. It's only, you know, two grand, but... Okay, but there's cheaper versions. Oh, okay. This is just the first one I clicked on. It's not... There's cheaper versions than this. Um, oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Because two grand for a bed that might only get you a handful of time. Well, that's why in some ways I think a sofa might be better because that's something we personally would use, Could use yeah. regularly where the bed would just be when people are visiting. Correct. Um, oh, asking if we've ever used the window above our sink as a pass-through window. We have not. Um, we did mention it in an earlier video, like when we were redoing the house. So, when, well, that's when we like I, first. Yeah, no, no, no I know. Um, so, Jarhead was kind of that's what she was, he, she was talking about, is that you did say you were going to use it as that, you know, yeah. and it's like yeah, we were we were joking around. Um, well, that's also what I first envisioned making that a much bigger window also. Uh, um, so originally when we first moved in and we did like the walkthrough and like ideas in our head was to put in a bigger window there that would have the ability to like slide open and shut and then possibly do like counter height bar over there. Um, yeah, it and quite for didn't happen. spatial reasons, no, because we wanted more cabinet space and everything. So to make that a bigger... We I mean, know we would have lost. You, you could do, you could still kind of do it. I never put the screen on it. So you could open it and yeah. pass stuff through if you want. We just haven't needed to. But you got to figure, you also got all that countertop in between you and the window. And you're reaching up and over it. Yeah. It doesn't really work for that. No. Um, I still like having the window though because that window sees directly into the pool area. Yeah. So if the kids are outside playing and stuff, I can see exactly what they're doing. And it just lets in so much light in the house. And that was one reason I loved this house was the natural light. So allowing that into the kitchen, I love. Yeah. True. Oh, Jarhead also asked if we get a monetary kickback from things like thumbs up, comments, things like that. So no, we don't get paid if you comment, thumbs up, anything like that. We get paid per thousand views. So YouTube will sell ads on our videos and then people or companies pay per thousand views. So they don't pay per view, it's per thousand. Um, where it helps when you guys comment and like and share is it's just a signal to YouTube that you guys enjoy our videos and they'll push it out to more people which eventually will get more views on it. So straight up answer, no. But we still appreciate the comments and likes because in a way it does help us make more money.
yeah. also. Well, also, we want to know what you guys think. So that's why we say yeah. comment <laughs> and like. So if, if we get no likes on a video, then we know. Well, you don't that like video, that video. <laughs> that video was shit. <laughs> like, we really screwed don't up Don't do on that, that one, one again. Never do that again. <laughs> So that's that's why we tell you comment like. Oh, you sent me some of these questions multiple times. Gosh. <laughs> Are you going the right way? I thought so. Look like you're going back. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, found it. Uh, you two are great. How about writing an awesome book on family, marriage, devotion, sanity, and values? I would buy it in a second. I don't think we could write a book. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but we have talked about doing more like podcast style videos like this. Um, so. That's a possibility. Uh, actually, if you guys comment what type of subjects we should do more sit down videos like this and talk about we could do that um, do podcast style yeah do it more i we've got a lot of people requesting like the just chit chatting and podcast and that way when they're going around about their day they can just listen it's not a have to sit down and watch they can just turn it on and listen and whatnot yeah like you could totally just put this on and listen to this yeah run. exactly I mean, you wouldn't get all my facial expressions, but you'd still get my audio. No, exactly. So let us know if we do more sit-down videos, what type of topics we should talk on. Do you need uh, a drink? Oh, yes, please. Was Bobby's family upset that you moved? They, they never happy. said they were upset. They never said they were happy about us moving. So, um, my thought is that, no, they weren't happy. So they, were they upset? They were not pleased. But then again, we kind of like ran the numbers and we figured out that we have spent more time, actually more time at their house now that we moved than when we lived in Watertown. Yeah. So, weird, huh? And, and it's also, like, upset there can be so many different... Were they angry at us? No. Were they bummed? Yeah, but my, I think anyone, if your family moves away, you get bummed. Like, yeah, because it's not like they would just pop in or anything like that when we lived in Watertown, because we were an, you hour. Know, an hour away. Yeah. So, it's like, okay, now we're... 21 or 20, 21 hours away. You can't just pop in. Yeah. <laughs> but you definitely, uh, I mean, we, we have Marco Polo. We have all that stuff. So it's not like we don't update them. They watch, they have YouTube so they can see what our family does. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, and I mean, it's not like you have long distance calling anymore. You can just pick up the phone and call, you know? So it's it's no different than if we lived in Watertown because it's just yeah we, we're we're just further away we can't go over as much but well and they understand the idea that Bjorn's health down here is a hundred oh, yeah. times better his Wait. asthma's pretty much gone away his eczema his skin's never been this clear since he's been born his skin has never been as clear as it is now yeah um. Mental health wise, you and I both do a lot better down here. It's sunnier. Yeah, you don't get that seasonal depression. Yeah. Um, so there's just a lot of really, really good things that came out of us moving. So, yeah. Were they bummed? Yes. Are they okay with it? I would say yes. Sure. Uh, oh, I think this is the same thing. Yeah. Okay, this is just another question about insurance and oh, solar panels. Yeah, it was, they were asking about umbrella coverage. Um, so that's one of the things you can do is when you get your solar panels, you can do, it's called like an umbrella coverage policy. 
and it's just, I don't know how that really works. We didn't do it. All we did when we got the solar panels is we raised our liability up coverage. That was it because that's what they said was required for us to get it installed. Um, after it's installed, they're like, you can drop it back down or leave it where it's at. It's just your liability coverage because you figure, yes, the company installing it has insurance. If one of their employees falls off my roof, they're covered. Now, the reason why they wanted us to make sure it was at a certain way is if one of those employees fell off the roof and tried to sue us, then at least we're covered. So it's just a protection thing. Um, but yeah, you don't need to have umbrella. At least not in our situation. Yeah, it's it's an option. This is uh, another one. All right. Do you have central or individual inverters? That's a solar question. Uh, we do not have uh, central. So basically, if one of our panels or banks goes out, the system will still run uh, off of the others. It's just it's going to be at a decreased capacity. So that way, you know, if one breaks, you still can operate. So yeah, we don't we don't have the the, the central all all for one. No, we don't have that. This is asking if you would ever consider uh, donating your time to working at a local VA, and if so, what would you do? So, it, well, it's asking if I would do counseling. Well, I don't have a degree in counseling, so I definitely can't counsel. I can public speak, but if I'm public speaking at a VA, chances are you're already cool with going to the VA. So, that wouldn't really help because those people already are like, yeah, I'll go to the VA. The people that I think this is more pertaining to is the people that don't want to go to the VA because they're like, it's absolute shit, it's horrible, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's that would be more of it. And that's why I think the podcast would be a good idea because if we get the message out there like, hey, you're it's missing changed. out on all these benefits, it has changed, um, it can be very beneficial and helpful. There's so many new programs out now. Is it for everybody? Absolutely not. But it it definitely can. You might find something, or maybe you don't even know what kind of help you need, and maybe or if it's even an option, or if it's even an option. So yeah, that's why I think the podcast idea is probably a good idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, public speaking about it could do that, but. Actually, being at the VA, no, it, it it wouldn't make sense because we want to try to get the help out to the people that don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Well, and like you said, that's why it's nice to talk about it on here because you get the older generation like my dad that just remembers it being horrible. Yep. But you also get these younger generations who think they're in like indestructible yep. that need to know the options of going to the VA, getting things documented and taken care of now. Well, and it because... is it actually like, you. I think the younger generation, they think they can just go there, you know, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm in the military. I can just go to the hospital. No, you have to actually, there's a process. It kind of, that's the crap part about it is like, you, you're like, well, you got all my stuff. I'm in the military. No, there's it's a separate entity, and you have to have certain documentation, fill out stuff to get registered into the system. So that's where I think people get confused and frustrated. Yeah. Do you have a Voltac or thermal one? And you know what? I looked this up, and I cannot remember what the answer is. I have no idea. It's for the solar. Um, I can't remember. He'll put it on the screen. If you can find it again. I know I answered your question um, on YouTube. But... Oh, okay. Who gets the renewable energy credit? So we mentioned that last time. So because we didn't like take out a loan or pay for it in cash, um, and we're using them more like our energy company... Yeah, we're like they renting. get the credit. Yeah, so yeah, it would be uh, legacy power yeah. that would get the the credit, the energy credit. All right, so she's asking, "What's your favorite thing about each other?" 
And if you didn't mind flying, what's a country or place you would like to visit? Um, so if we didn't mind flying country, I always thought going to like Greece or Ireland, um, would be really cool. But like the, when you see all the, uh, buildings and stuff on the side of the mountains with the water around those like very scenic, yeah, like below, below deck where they go. Those places seem beautiful. <laughs> like Philo Tech. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely cool looking places that I'd want to go see. But like actually like roam around and visit, I don't know. Because we don't always like big crowds and stuff. Like yeah. I would think I would love to go to Germany for Oktoberfest. But then it's like, That's it's like a all lot the of people. crowds. <laughs> I don't like all that. So... Probably not a good idea. Um, but yeah, going to see like super old um, buildings and cool stuff like that. Like Italy has a lot and I mean, pretty much Europe. I guess that we could say go to Europe because yeah. that has a lot of the old, old, old stuff. I've already been to the Middle East. I've seen all that, which is pretty cool. But, but seeing like the really old. Yeah architecture because like america's a baby country yeah like yeah. we you go to saint augustine this is yeah which is the oldest city city in the country and it looks old and it looks old but it's nothing compared to other countries it's we're such a baby country that i would love to see like true old architecture yeah maybe find like some place that is like a it's Castle. super haunted and stuff. I don't want to go somewhere haunted. But it could I like be fun. watching it on TV. But it could be fun. Um, and a favorite thing about each other, I don't know, we just click. Yeah. I, I think it's, I don't, I can't think of like a specific thing as much of a like, when we talk, we just can talk. Yeah. We don't get in arguments. We really, don't get in so arguments. That's probably my favorite thing because that would not be great. <laughs> like there's stuff each of us do around the house and it's always just a, I don't know. Everything when it comes to us seems to run smoothly. That's probably what I enjoy the most. If we're talking, it's very smooth. If we're getting stuff done around the house, it's really smooth. We, always, we always like kind of cuddle every night so you know there's that whole thing yeah and, yeah it was actually funny um because bobby was doing something the other day which he'll bring up in a future video um <laughs> but where he was and he could tell because he knows me and it was annoying the guy there was trying to talk me into it by saying he'll bring you flowers He'll do this. He'll do that. He says he loves you. And I'm like, this is not the type of person I am. Like and you sound like that. a douche. And I don't normally say things like that. But that's what I was thinking. I'm like, Bobby's definitely not said any of the things you're saying right now because... I, I don't do that. He doesn't do that because don't like I don't that. like that. Like, you better not be buying me flowers because you're sucking up for something if you're bringing me flowers it's because you want to bring me flowers or you want to do something nice not i'm sorry here's flowers or i want something here's flowers yeah no thank you flowers don't work it's plants <laughs> plants work better bring me animals animals work <laughs> even better <laughs> If I come home with a baby little puppy, like a miniature something. Oh, yeah. Duckling. A baby duck. Oh, it's over. <laughs> baby duck, baby doggy, just a little puppy. Yeah. One that stays little all the time. She'd be like, I'd be set. Be like, here you go. And just so you know, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't focus on what I said. Just focus on the baby. 
Bruno is on the baby. It's just a baby. Yeah. If I knew where to get baby ducks from, it'd be over. I'd just be like, probably just go be like, hey, I need another one. I need another one. I want to do this. I need another one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I We discuss any financial transactions before making any big purchases. Yeah. So, that's, no, I didn't buy a truck. That's actually something that's funny because people, I often like think it's weird or like we'll say oh you have to ask for permission it's like it's never been a permission thing no. it's always been a respect thing of hey i'm gonna buy something that's a couple hundred dollars just so you know yeah it's it's not like so if i go to lowe's and i get stuff for projects okay we're talking you know could be a couple hundred bucks could be a couple hundred bucks right but it's for something that we've already probably talked about. Yeah. So that's fine. Now, if I go somewhere and she sees like a charge for a thousand dollars, she's gonna be like, "What did you get?" <laughs> well, and that's the other thing. I handle a lot of the finances in our house or decorations, because you know some of the decorations out there can be expensive. expensive. So we 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 talk about any big. Decoration purchases. Yeah, if, if a single item, even a tool, if a single item is going to cost a couple hundred dollars, no more. Normally, it's a conversation like, "Okay, is this really worth this?" And we decide together. I only buy my tools on sale or when I get yeah. a deal. So, like, I have like a wish list, and, and I it wait notifies for them. you. Yeah. yeah, that's how I've been getting my tools. Is I wait. Yeah. You're snoring, Bailey. <laughs> so then he stops. Sorry. He, and then Drake picked it up. Oh, you guys got... Look at that. Look at those. Just both sleeping over here. But that was the last of our comments. Oh, well, that was? Wow. Yeah, All that was front. the final one. All right. So, All that's right. it. So you guys know what to do. Um... Like, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I did it in reverse order, but uh, yeah, um, let us know about the podcast and topics. Definitely leave a comment on that. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that would be fun. I would love the idea of just like doing different topics. If it's marriage related, if it's and we'll try to find different backgrounds. That's why we're we're in this room today. Well, plus, and, I, and I can't go in the I pool. Say you can't go in the pool or a hot tub. Otherwise, I really like the pool and light background. That's sweet. Well, and it's nice at night because the kids aren't around. So yeah. it's quieter. Yeah. Um, I do have another just, idea for another right background. But we're going to leave that for later. Yes. But yeah. Damn. That's it. All right. We'll <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>